Hello, I am Santosh, a cloud support engineer at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show how to troubleshoot problems that might occur when you are trying to connect to an Amazon Relational Database Service Database or an Amazon Aurora Database using Amazon RDS Proxy. Let's get started. There are several reasons that you might experience connection failures with RDS Proxy, including the following. Security group rules either at the database instance or at the RDS proxy are preventing the connection. Check whether the RDS proxy uses different security group. Check whether it has outbound rule to the RDS database and also check that the RDS database has inbound rules that allow connections from the proxy. RDS proxy currently works only within a VPC. Because RDS proxy works only within a VPC, connections from outside the private network fail. Database is not available or is not accepting connections. The status of database must be available and it must accept connection. Authentication credentials. The username password used are not valid. The authentication credentials, the native username password mode used must be valid. To connect through the proxy as a specific user, you must make sure that the password associated with a secret matches the database password for that user. For each proxy that you create, you must first use AWS Secrets Manager service to store username and password credentials. In Secrets Manager, create these secrets with values for the username and password fields. The proxy ignores other fields such as host and port if they are present in the secret. The EC2 Bastion client has outbound rule and the inbound rule of the proxy security group allows connections from the Bastion host. To connect to the proxy endpoint from Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Bastion host, the proxy security group must include an inbound rule from the EC2 Bastion security group. Also, the EC2 Bastion must have outbound set to 0 0.0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0 or the proxy security group. The AWS identity and access management user or role associated with the client isn't authorized to connect with RDS proxy when IAM DB authentication is used. When using IAM for authentication, the user or role must be authorized to connect with the RDS proxy. Login into the EC2 Bastion and then check the status of the proxy. For example, my EC2 instance has a role attached to perform health checks on the proxy. I'll be using this Bastion to connect to the database using a proxy endpoint. For this, I must make sure that this Bastion also has the inbound to the proxy. My Bastion EC2 resides in same Amazon Virtual Private Cloud as the RDS DB and proxy. If your EC2 client Bastion resides in an external host, make sure to set up VPC pairing. Confirm that proxy health is healthy. Go to Amazon RDS console to see the RDS security group. Check whether it has inbound rule from the RDS proxy on port 5432. If the proxy and the RDS database instance use the same security group, then add a self-referencing rule. In my case, the proxy and the RDS are using different security groups. Ensure proxy security group has outbound rule for RDS database security group. I already logged in to the database as the master user. 
Now I will create the username and password and will use the secrets manager service to store the username and password. My secrets will be encrypted using the non-default AWS KMS key. I will also connect to the database using the username and password stored in Secrets Manager using RDS endpoint to confirm that I can connect to the database. For my proxy to be able to talk to Secrets Manager to decrypt the AWS KMS key, I must attach the role to my proxy. The proxy will be assuming this role and the trusted entity will be RDS, rds.amazonaws.com. I will attach this policy to the role. For more information on what might be stopping the proxy from connecting to the database instance, review the target health structure in the output from the describe-db-proxy-targets command. Review the state, reason, and description fields for more information on the connection health of the RDS proxy target. Review the RDS proxy logs. Turn on the enhanced logging feature of the RDS proxy. Turning on logging gives detailed information about the SQL statements. These logs are useful resource to help you understand certain authentication issues. Because turning on these logs adds to performance overhead, it's best practice to turn them on only for debugging. Confirm the status of proxy as available. and then log in to the EC2 Bastion client to connect to the database using the proxy endpoint and database credentials stored in Secrets Manager. If you are also using IAM authentication to connect to database, then follow these troubleshooting steps. A, check that database allows IAM authentication. B, check that the EC2 bastion that's used has the appropriate rules attached. The trusted entity will be EC2, ec2.amazonaws.com. The policy attached to the role or IAM user will look similar to the one on the screen. The client must generate a token to authorize the connection request. To do this, the IAM user and IAM role associated with this client must have the RDS-DB colon connect IAM policy. Also make sure to use the RDS proxy ID in the ARN for the resources attribute in the policy. And now you know how to troubleshoot problems that might occur when you are trying to connect to an RDS database or an Aurora database using RDS proxy. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.